Hi, my name's Cameron Beach and I'm a Toshiba DX and VRF product manager. Today we're going to take a look at the Toshiba RBC AMT U31E controller and how to use the auto restart function. So here we have the Toshiba RBC AMT U31E controller. So the first thing that we want to do is power the controller on using the on and off button. And we can now also see that the power light is illuminated. To set the auto restart function, what we need to do is access the DN codes. To do this, we need to flip down the panel and press and hold three buttons in together. That's the test, set and CL button. By pressing these three buttons in together for four to five seconds, we can access the DN codes. Once in the DN codes, we can see the set data on the left hand side, the unit address in the middle and the code number on the right hand side. For auto restart, we use the temperature up arrow to navigate to code 28. Once at code 28, we can see that the data is currently set to four zeros. This means that the auto restart function is not enabled. To change this, use the time up arrow and set the data to treble zero one. Using the set button to confirm your selection and then test to confirm, the controller will now flash set in. This will last between 30 seconds and one minute. Once the controller has gone back to the blank screen, again, press the on and off button to bring the controller back on. You can then shut the controller and the auto restart function is now enabled. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you found this information useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.